Hello everyone and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I really mean it, guys. We need subscribers, so therefore please hit the like button, guys. We need. We also need likes here. Uh, it's really killing me to see about 3,000 views on the video with barely 100 likes only. I hope you guys all can hit the like button and it's not gonna cost you anything at all. And please uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Now. Um, I want to tell you first of all that I was actually supposed to make a Friday analysis video but unfortunately due to the condition of the market I wasn't able to do that as we can see Friday's April, April uh, 7 uh, the market actually was almost closed or actually um, all the banks actually were actually on holiday to, uh, due to the observation of the Good Friday also we had the unemployment rate in use uh, and the non-farm payroll on the USD pairs, which was actually going to make a big impact on the market. Monday is not any better, by the way. Also, the banks are going to be closed for the observation of the Easter day. And then uh, Wednesday is going to be a really busy day for traders because we will be having the core CPI news, uh, Bank of Canada rate statement, and mainly, uh, actually, main importantly, actually, more importantly, the FOMC meeting minutes. Also, um, on uh, Thursday, we'll be having the core PPI news for the USD dollar. Meanwhile, Friday is going to be a good day for trading. So therefore, that was the reason, guys, I was not really able to make a late week analysis uh, nor a Friday analysis video. Anyway, let's now begin the weekly analysis. And as usual, let's start with the Euro USD. So what I want to tell you guys here on the Euro USD on the weekly chart what we can notice right here, of course, that this level of resistance, which has been respected back on uh, 15th of January 2023, then for the last week, um, actually the, for the last month, I mean, sorry, as we can see, each of these candles has actually been able to reach the peak of the resistance exactly at 1.08966, each one of them. But actually, each one of them also has closed with a long uh, wick at the top indicates that the bearish movement here is much stronger and therefore we have to consider selling the euro usd for the next week now moving to the daily chart now the daily chart shows us right here also guys um the peak of the resistance right here exactly at 1.09138 pay attention now to the last candle the last candle actually is a reverse hammer and that's also a good sign to start selling the market once you see the scandal has appeared on a resistance level on the bigger time frames such as weekly daily or even four hour time frame it's usually a good sign to start selling the market let's now move to the one hour time frame now in the one hour time frame we can see a very clear head and shoulders pattern has actually appeared therefore we have to consider selling the euro usd after seeing all these price actions and structures now by looking at the euro usd where is exactly the highest or actually the strongest sorry the strongest level of a resistance that you can ever see on this pattern if i'm not mistaken it lies exactly right here at 1.09265 pay attention the market has always reversed exactly on that level of a resistance and if i scroll in the past check this out each time the market has actually been able to reach that level it has always reversed on it it was also uh, a fake breakout at some uh, occasions but mainly it was a real level of a resistance if we check the history check this out guys this level at 1.09265 is always a strong level as a resistance and if you are actually thinking that the market is going to make another fake breakout you are wrong because the market has already made it right here for you this is the the first one and right here the second fake breakouts therefore the market is actually facing right here a strong pressure from the support which means uh, we can actually expect from the euro usd to make a pullback and reach the same level of a resistance and from there we can start shorting the market if that happens we can actually aim the lowest level of a support right here exactly at 1.09335 that's going to be our target which means we can actually expect to make about um, approximately 92 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the safe zone shouldn't be ranging higher than the peak of the resistance at 1.09660, which means the safe zone ranging for about 40 pips against 92 pips of profit. Let's now move to the pound USD. 
All right, for the pound USD, guys, let's now move to the weekly chart. And again, we can see a very a similar thing happened with the euro USD happening right here as well. The market has actually uh, failed. Actually, the market has indeed failed to make the final bullish breakout from the long term resistance right here at 1.24163. We can see that the market has actually been respecting that level of resistance since last year, November. And even uh, this year, uh, 15th of January, the market has also respected it and recently this month as well. So therefore, we can actually expect from the next candle to be bearish one. Now moving to the daily chart. As you can see guys we have right here these three candles has appeared which is also a good sign to start selling the market so all the signs says that we can start shorting the pound usd however if we look at the daily chart and we are still with it right here i want to highlight that level of a resistance exactly right here the peak of the resistance at 1.2443 pay attention that was indeed a real level of a resistance and right now we can see that the pound USD uh, has actually closed right here with a long uh, tail at the bottom of that candle indicates that there is a pressure and there is most likely a bullish reversal and that candle has the potential to rise for about 30 pips. So therefore, let's now move to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, if I scroll to the left side, now we can see right here that the, this was the peak of the resistance. Let me just zoom out more so you can see it. As you can see, this was the absolute highest level of resistance that the candle was ever able to reach to. There was always a strong level, level of a support or a strong level of a resistance. Now, as you can see, the market seems like it's actually respecting that level of a resistance trend line. And if the pound USD is going to be able to make a pullback upon the pressure from the support right here, uh, it's going to actually make a rise and most likely that level of a resistance is also going to be respected. And from that point, we can start selling the pound USD. Uh, if we want to do that, I highly recommend to stick to a small take profit level, such as the nearest support at 1.23791, which means we will be aiming. Actually, we can make it even higher. I actually made a review before uh, recording and maybe I made a mistake. I meant this support as well. So therefore, yes, yes, that is the point. 83 pips is going to be our take profit level for the pound USD. Meanwhile, the safe zone shouldn't be ranging higher than the peak of the resistance right here at 1.24936, which means the safe zone ranging for about uh, 50 pips against 83 pips of profit. Let's now move to the AUD USD. All right, so for the AUD USD, guys, let's now also move to the weekly chart. Now, the weekly chart shows us also that the market is actually moving in a very, um, I mean, it's a strong um, bearish movement. It's a downtrend and the resistance trend line is really being respected over the time, multiple times, of course, even when we have the first and the second bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line, the market has always formed a fake breakout from that level always and even lately the last weekly candle has also been able to respect the same levels of a resistance trend line in the case that the usd sorry the AUD usd is most likely gonna start the bearish fall which means we have to consider selling the AUD usd for the next week now moving to the daily chart just to confirm the direction now what i'm going to do is simply highlight also the absolute nearest level of a resistance right here uh, exactly there as 0 0.67181 but the problem here is we cannot really decide anything based on the daily chart i think we just have witnessed right here that the market has indeed been able to create a real level of a resistance then we have right here the, the fake breakout from that level so meaning after the bullish breakout happened right here the market actually was supposedly to respect that level of a previous support but that didn't happen and the market has instantly broke out from that level of a support which means that was indeed a strong fake breakout and therefore we have to consider selling the AUD USD. Now moving to the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, I'm, I'm going to rely fully on the resistance trend lines to find the absolute uh, safest entry. Now, this is of course the peak of the resistance trend line. And if I draw here a line like that, pay attention. The market is indeed respecting those levels. Each time the market has touched this level of a resistance trend line, it either cre uh, created a support trend line or a resistance trend line. Now, the AUDUSD 
is actually facing right there a real level of a support and there is a pressure from that level which means there is a possibility for uh, for another pullback and i highly suggest to sell the AUDUSD exactly right from that level right there at 0 0.6 uh sorry double six eight sixty one that's of course my friends the real level of a resistance as we can see each time the market has actually visited that level it created a real level of a resistance it was also a real level of a support it was also a resistance trend line and most likely the market is going to be able to respect that level and then we can see that right here uh this was of course a resistance number one so therefore if the market is going to be able to reach that level it's going to create a resistance number two therefore selling at 0 0.6861 is going to be our t uh, target however the take profit level has got to be placed right there at the absolute lowest level of the support as 0 0.657 uh, 46 which means the take profit level is going to be about 111 pips meanwhile the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the peak of the resistance as 0 0.67301 which means the safe zone is going to be ranging for about 44 pips against 111 pips of profit and let's now move to the usd cad okay so for the usd cad it actually seems actually first of all let's move to the weekly chart so first of all the weekly chart my friends is moving in a good harmony and seems like it's actually respecting uh, that strong support trend line since march 2022 the market has formed right here the support trend line and the market seems like it's still going to be able to respect that level especially seeing the pin bar has has appeared right here on the weekly candles which means that the usd cad is most likely now going to continue the rise till it reach the peak of the resistance right there at 1.37150 so moving now to the daily chart now on the daily chart what we can see right here also another um um i mean a clear respect of the support trend line each time the market has also touched that level of a support trend line it also respected it which means the usd cad is most likely now going to continue the rise now the question is where exactly we can start buying the market now i want you guys to highlight the absolute strongest and nearest support to that level you might tell me it's right here but you're wrong actually the strongest support lies exactly right here the reason this was my friends a strong level of a support meanwhile it was of course a multiple attempts of a real resistance and keep in mind i'm on the daily charts and now you can see that in the past this has also been a real level of a support and if i scroll more to the left side hopefully i can find it we can see that, that it was almost right there the support attempt as well if i scroll more to the left side it was also a real level of a resistance for multiple times and if i scroll more to the left we can see um it has also been right here as a support a support here a support as well so actually no matter how i scroll in the in the past it has always been a real level of a support now of course we have to switch now to the smaller time frame just to confirm this entry we need to be sure if we can indeed buy the market right from there so moving now to the one hour time frame now on the one hour time frame what we can do right here or what we can see is actually a triangle and let me tell you my thoughts my thoughts is actually that the usd cad is gonna rise a little bit more and then falls uh, making the the bearish break out from that triangle and afterwards it's actually gonna reverse upon the pressure from the previous resistance right here or the nearest support because uh right here lies the support number one this was support number one so if the usd cad is gonna make a bearish break out from that uh, structure or that channel it's gonna reverse again at that level of a support to create the second attempt of the support and then it's gonna continue the rise to retest the broken level of a, su uh, of a support trend line and most likely it's gonna fail and continue the rise therefore we have to, uh, to look at the left side right now to find the absolute strongest level of a support which it's it actually lies exactly right there at 1.34692 this was my friends a real level of a support which most likely not gonna be ignored and pay attention it was also a real level of a resistance in the past it has never been ignored and check this out this is so beautiful this uh, reversal has occurred exactly on that level which means it's gonna be a good idea in my opinion to to buy the usd cad after it fall for about 37 pips therefore i'm going to send you the signal 
to buy the pair from that point and the safe zone is going to be ranging till the absolute lowest level of a support for about 56 pips meanwhile the take profit level is going to be placed let me just be sure exactly i'm looking of course at that level of a resistance right here because that, that level of a resistance is the one that has become a real level of a support and also a resistance right here as well which means that's going to be our take profit level exactly so meaning our take profit level is going to be approximately 111 pips against 55 pips of profit as uh, of a safe zone let's now move to the USDJPY. all right so regarding the USDJPY, um let's now move to the weekly chart to confirm the direction now as you can see the market has already reversed uh, at that level of a support exactly at 131.634 but there is one problem here that you are in about 16 minutes of the video and you are yet to hit the like button and i don't understand this behavior guys let me show you something right now it's actually 3 th it's 3 a.m in the morning and I'm here making you this video instead of being sleeping in my comfortable bed. No, I'm here making you this video to help you to find the best trades for the next week. And you really find it too much to hit the like button. It's really something I cannot understand. So please guys, just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. At least appreciate the hard work that we're doing to you to provide you with these signals. Anyway, of course, guys, I'm joking. If you hit the like button or not, uh, I love you all and I respect each one of you. Even if there was zero likes on this video, I'm still going to, to provide you with these signals. And um, all I'm looking for is to grow the channel and hopefully it's going to get the attention that it uh, deserves. Anyway, now let me just tell you something about the weekly chart for the pound GP, so for the USDJPY. That price action right here is worrying me usually once we see the reverse hammer appeared on that level of a previous resistance usually it's a sign that the usgpy is actually going to continue the fall once you see this candle appeared on a, on a resistance it's actually a good sign to start selling the market now moving to the daily chart now also the daily chart shows us right here that the market is seems like it's moving in a very strong downtrend and seems like it's actually going to be able to respect that level now let me just show you something else let me actually show you this uh if i draw here of course a support trend line from that level now you might tell me but Salah is actually respecting that level well keep in mind that we are also having that resistance trend line which means we are approaching now the bottleneck of that triangle the bottleneck usually indicates for a, a price explosion which means if the market is going to be trapped inside this narrow area it's going to make a price explosion it's going to either uh, make an explosion with a strong bullish movement or a strong bearish one so what's going to happen now with this pair now as we can see the market has indeed been able to respect that level of a support but the problem here guys is that level of a resistance is also being respected and that the bearish movement right now is stronger add to this the price action on the weekly chart which we have just talked about and for the last for the last uh, six weeks we can see that we had one two three four five red candles meanwhile we you know meanwhile we had only a single blue one the bearish movement is absolutely stronger and most likely the USGPY is actually now gonna is actually gonna continue the fall. Therefore, moving back to the four hour time frame, I actually I actually recommend to consider that the market is gonna make right here a resistance trend line. And um, if we look at the left side also, we can see right here that we had of course the nearest support right there, the nearest support to that bearish breakout candle. Usually that's the best level for the reversal if you want to sell the market that's usually the best level to sell the market therefore uh, let's consider selling the USGPY after it rises for about 35 or 36 pips at the level of a uh, level of a previous support sorry and the take profit level is going to be placed right there at the absolute nearest level of a support at 130.91 which means the take profit level is going to be approximately 150 pips meanwhile the safe zone is going to be ranging till the peak of the resistance right here at 133.171 which means the safe zone ranging for about 66 pips against 150 pips of profit 
Moving now to the USCCHF. Alright, so the USCCHF has finally been able to make this the uh, final bearish breakout from that very long term support right here at 0 0.90835, which means the USTCHF actually has a potential to continue the fall. Adding to this, of course, the support trend line right here, which actually has been broken out from, it means that the USCCHF most likely is gonna continue the rise for a few pips before it's gonna reverse upon the pressure from the broken support trend line and then it's gonna continue the fall. But now we have to, conf to confirm this on the smaller time frames. So the bigger time frame is the weekly chart and it says that the USCCHF is gonna indeed continue the fall. Moving now to the daily chart, just to confirm this. Now, check this out. As we can see, guys, we already have right here a first attempt of the resistance. And keep in mind that this is the, the, the daily chart. And each candle, of course, represents a whole day. Even when the market has actually created here a pin bar, it fooled us. And instead, the market just kept falling. And pay attention, each of these candles has actually reached th that, that level of a resistance. Each one of them which means 0 0.90737 is indeed as strong level as a resistance and most likely the new candle on monday is gonna open and most likely is gonna reach the absolutely same level of a resistance and afterwards is actually gonna continue the fall i don't believe that the ucchf need any further analysis um even if we analyze this resistance trend line right here we can see that the market also has the potential to respect that level of a resistance trend line and afterwards it's going to continue the fall so the sell level has been determined let's just now move to the left side to find where exactly we can continue sh uh, shorting the pair now pay attention that level of a support right here at 0 0.89837 this was of course a real level of a support meanwhile this was of course a fake breakout that's gonna be guys our boy that's gonna be our take profit level which means we can actually continue selling the market uh for about let me just um uh move to the four hour time frame so we can see it mm, we had to squeeze this chart yes okay so indeed we can sell at the resistance and the take profit level is going to be about 89 pips of profit hopefully meanwhile the safe zone shouldn't be ranging higher than the peak of the, sorry the absolute lowest level of a support as 0 0.9199 which means the safe zone ranging for about 45 pips against 90 pips of profit and let's now move to the gold and before we continue analyzing the gold i want you guys to re i want to remind you guys that this man here is making you this video at 3 12 a.m in the morning so please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that's all i'm asking you and if you don't mind guys uh we need some comments also the videos are dead without comments uh the community is dead of course without any comments and activity on the channel uh so guys please if you are watching this video and enjoying and making any profits please leave any comments even bad comments i don't care just bad just put comments any comments even just say anything the f word i don't care just leave a comment please okay good now let me just tell you something now for the gold guys of course i'm joking you know that don't leave any bad comment please um as you can see guys the gold is indeed gonna continue the rise so far we can see that the gold after retesting the broken level of a resistance and keep in mind i'm on the weekly chart right now as you can see that level of a resistance has also been retested already and the market has already formed here a new attempt of a support that means that the gold has the potential to continue the rise and most likely the target is also going to be right here the peak of the resistance at the absolute highest level or high, the highest price of the gold at 2068.91 which means we have to consider buying the gold at a certain level now moving to the daily chart you know something i'm gonna jump to the one hour time frame because let's just get over it so based now on the weekly sorry on the on the one hour time frame what we can see right here my friends is a previous resistance exactly right there right here at 1989.78 the gold is most likely most likely gonna, gonna continue the fall to reach that level of a resist or previous uh, resistance exactly after falling for about 172 pips more now also add to this that we are having here also that support trend line which must likely also gonna be respected 
now we have to consider that we have seen here that the market also respected that level of a support trend line then it has created here a fake breakout from that level and the market is yet to create any attempt of a support trend line here yet that being said the gold is most likely going to be safe to be bought exactly from that level of a new support trend line and also a new support all is going to be new it's going to be a support number one it's going to be a support trend line number one um it's going to be really safe in my opinion to buy the gold at that level let's check the fibonacci retracement also it's going to be also 50 fibonacci retracement let me just increase this line to be right here exactly on that level so that's actually more accurate therefore i highly recommend to buy the gold exactly at that level and there there uh, of course they, t they take profit level it, the, okay relax chill chill relax okay good so they take profit level is actually supposedly to be right here the absolute highest level of the resistance at 2068 but that's going to be approximately uh <laughs> 8000 pips 800 pips i never give any uh sign such signals with unrealistic take profit levels however the take profit level is going to be right here the absolute highest level of a resistance right there at 2020 2020 uh, 0.84 which means we can actually expect to make about 300 pips profit from the signal meanwhile the safe zone shouldn't be ranging lower than this level of a real support right here at 1974.95 which means uh the safe zone ranging for about 158 pips against 300 pips hopefully gonna be in profits and there goes the signal my friends for the usc pairs and for the gold for the upcoming week and again guys i really want to remind you guys about the news i mean let's not have a, a toxic a, a toxic community i mean if the news changed the market direction i really cannot do anything about it and i'm sure things gonna be changed by wednesday wednesday is gonna be crazy it, oh, it all depends of course on the actual forecast but however usually this news makes really big impact on the market especially the fomc so therefore please pay attention to the news uh, just be careful and hopefully guys all of us gonna make a really decent and good profit for uh the upcoming week so until then i hope that uh, that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching